this is Mary with All Things Automotive, bringing you here today a 2008 Ford Ranger XL. This vehicle features a 2.3 liter 4F engine. There have been no accidents or damages reported to Carfax, and this vehicle has had two previous owners, both here in the state of Pennsylvania. As we get closer to the front of the vehicle, you'll see that it is a brilliant bright white, with chroma black accents as you'll be able to see there on the grill and down around those fog lights. Those fog lights will help you out in inclement weather, and speaking of inclement weather, we'll come along here to the side and take a look at your wheels. This vehicle does feature 16-inch steel wheels, and as for your tire treads, you have got a significant amount of their life left in them, but I'll get you those exact measurements in just a second, as this vehicle, along with all the other vehicles here at All Things Automotive, has undergone a new multi-point inspection, as well as received a fresh oil change, a new cabin air filter, and a new engine air filter. So you don't need to worry about replacing any of those anytime soon. As we take a step back here, you might notice that this truck is on the smaller side, so it'll help you whenever you are navigating tight spaces or parking. And it, you might also notice that it does sit a little bit lower than other vehicles, so that means you can very easily get in and out without the need for running boards. As we take a look inside the vehicle, you'll notice you do have these light gray leather upholstery on your seats, and you do have plastic floors. So all of that means a really easy cleanup if you have mud, spills, anything. I'll now take a peek in the glove box and bring out the results of that multi-point inspection that I was talking about. As you'll be able to see here, you've got green checks the whole way around. And as for your tire treads, you have 10, 30 seconds in all of your tires. And as for your brake pads, you have 10, 30 seconds in the front and 6, 30 seconds in the rear. You do have the owner's manual with the purchase of this vehicle. So if you have any more questions that pop up later, you'll be able to look them up right in there. This vehicle can seat a total of three people, but if you only have two, this middle seat does fold down to become an armrest for a very cozy dual person experience. I'll now just close the door and we'll move along to the rear of the vehicle and take a look at your bed. This vehicle is able to have a trailer hitch hookup with it and I'll just put down this tailgate to show you the bed. As I had mentioned earlier, this truck is a little bit lower laying than most other trucks, which means it's a lot easier to put in your loads and take out heavy items. Speaking of, you do have a six foot bed with this vehicle, so you can haul a lot back here and some really large items. I'll just put this tailgate back up and we'll continue around to the driver's side. I would like to mention before we get in that with the purchase of this vehicle, you do get two keys to help prevent you from ever getting locked out. You do have power locks with this vehicle and you do have manual windows, so you can roll those down. As for your seating, you do have two-way seating adjustments, so you can move that forwards, backwards, and then tilt your seat forward and backwards manually. Attached to your steering wheel is your windshield wiper lever and your hazard light switch, and to the left of the steering wheel is your headlight controls and your cabin light controls. I'll now just get in the vehicle and turn it on for you. All right, now that the engine's running and the dashboard is on, you'll be able to see this vehicle has about 52,746 miles in it. This vehicle in particular does get good gas mileage when you compare it with other trucks. And we'll take a look over here in the center of the vehicle. Here in the center, you do have a lot of display options for your radio. And to the left and right of that, you do have your cigarette lighter and then a USB charging port. Right underneath that, you do have your climate control system. A bit farther down, you have a small storage space for something like your phone. And this vehicle is stick shift with a clutch and manual. You do have two cup holders to the sides of that. And we'll move on now to the last section of this video. In the last section of this video, we know a lot of our customers come from very far away. And so we want to be as transparent and straightforward as we possibly can be with the purchasing process. We want you to know exactly what you're getting with the purchase of this vehicle, imperfections and all. So as I look around the inside of this vehicle, you do have just some general wear and tear. So you do have a little bit of staying air on that black plastic. It is worn in a few different places. It is especially worn here on the mirror. You do have a bit of staining on that. But other than those, I cannot notice anything on the inside of the vehicle. So we'll move along now to the outside. We'll be looking up and down. You do have a few nicks here and a few stains. 
some more there. We'll continue to the front. As we come here in the front, typically on the front with most vehicles, you do have a lot of nicks from stone chipping. But this vehicle has comparatively few, especially for the year it is and for the miles on it. Part of that is probably due to this black plastic preventing a lot of the nicking that would typically occur on the paint. You do have a few small stone chips there near the bottom. And you do have a good scuff there. As we make our way around to the back, we'll take a look here at the bed. As you will be able to see very clearly, it has a lot of scratches on it, mostly due to the fact that it does not have a bed liner, but a bed liner would cover all that and protect it. I'll put this tailgate back up and continue back around to the driver's side. You've got a few scratches and stains up here, closer to the top. And we are back to where we started. That generally concludes this video vehicle tour. This vehicle has a lot of great features to offer. If you're interested in a small white pickup with a compact, easy to enter design, a six foot bed with a chrome tailgate top cover, steel wheels, fog lights, a black plastic protective cover on the front, rain visors, and so much more, this is a good option for you. If you're interested in this vehicle, come and check it out at All Things Automotive. Located at 21518 Great Cove Road, McConnellsburg, PA. Or you can give us a call at 717-485-4224. You can also check out this small pickup and other listings on our website at www.allthingsautomotive.com. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.